Hello, Edeku Dedi Asikoi. Hey guys, it's Aderonke again. Happy Saturday. And today I'd like to talk about the types of furniture that we have in Yoruba language. The first one is table. Table is tabili. Tabili. And then we have chair. Chair is aga. Aga. Another word that could replace aga is ijoko ijoko joko the verb joko is sit so ijoko is something that you sit on ijoko so these are the basic kinds of furniture that i'm going to be addressing obviously we have many types but back then we used to have a it even still exists it really exists in African societies apart from even just the Yoruba ones so we call it it's it's a short legged stool it's a stool with four legs but the legs are short and it's called Akboti and it looks just like that as you can see in the image Akboti 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 can also mean box box for clothes or box for anything just box wooden box especially and it can also mean ark so what would they usually use akboti for well whenever they wanted to cook we have some foods that would often require like stirring so when you want to make amala for example in rural communities they still sit to stare so or maybe they're trying to fix the fire because they use firewood or it's, it was basically just for sitting but they usually sat in it to do light duties you want to pick beans or maybe remove the thorns from like from vegetables or remove dead flowers or dead leaves or just things like that they would sit on it it was sat on to do work akboti akboti and then we have bed bed is ibusun ibusun just because you know of the introduction of the english language and how sometimes yoruba people would often if certain words did not exist you know at the very beginning of the yoruba existence they would often borrow from some english words and transform them to yoruba somehow so obviously beddy as another name for bed came from bed in english so beddy 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 bed but before beds existed i mean even when beds began to exist elaborate beds like you saw in that previous image we had any any and it's often woven it's often woven any mat mat we have different kinds we have rubber mats we have leather mats we have uh, just different kinds of that they make it with but the most common used to be straw mats as you can see in the image any mat any any this is not a piece of furniture it's just something that goes with furniture so irori 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 pillow irori pillow Ori is head. Ori is head. So Irori is somewhere that you rest your head. Pillow. And we have the ones that they make with feathers. Oniye. Iye is feather. Oniye. So one that is made up of feather. Oniye. Oniye. It has feather. It's, it was made with feathers. So only yeah, and then we have alasho, in which it's not stuffed with feathers this time, it's stuffed with clothes. Then we have irori apart from irori oni yeah, and irori alasha, we have irori oni fomu. Oni fomu. Foam. Fomu is obviously foam. Foam. Fomu. Foam. Or fuke fuke. I will address that shortly. Fuke fuke. We also have olowu. Owu is wool. So we have the ones that they will stuff with wool as well. Irori Olowu. 
just going back to Apoti, we have the ones that we sit with. It would look almost like the same, you know, the Apoti is just that they would serve different functions. But if it's the stool that you would sit on, it would be Apoti Joko. Apoti Joko. If it's the stool for placing your leg on, like a footstool, it would be Apoti Tise. Ese is the the leg the feet so or it could be the legs so apoti tise to rest your legs for resting one's foot or one's feet for the one for the dining table the idea is that you would have table in it ijeun is eat that's the verb jeun is eat so tabili jeun the table for eating Tabili jeon, the table for eating. You can also call it tabili onje, tabili onje, the table for food. Onje is food, so tabili onje, table for food. Which would you can also call it tabili tiangbonjele, but that's a bit of a sentence now. Sorry, it will be a descriptive phrase, not a sentence. Tabili tiangbonjele, the table that we place food on. Tabili tiangbonjele. And then the dining chair, aga ejeun, o aga aga ta ta njoko lejeun. That could also work as well. Aga ti njoko lejeun. We also you can also apart from aga ijoko. Then if you want to be a bit descriptive of the kind of tables and chairs that you have, uh, asho is cloth. Asho, asho cloth. So aga lasho. Is a cushioned chair made with cloth, so it's not just like a wooden chair that is not covered with anything. You're basically just sitting on wood, or just a galasho can be can can be descriptive of a chair that is cushioned. A ga a lasho, and another thing that we have is the foam. Foam. Foam is formu. Formu. Obviously, that came from the English language foam. Fomu. Fomu. We also have fuke fuke. Fuke fuke. To mean foam. I've heard that so many times. That foam will be called fuke fuke. The cushion chair can also be a gauni fomu. Because again, there's foam involved. It has foam in it. It was made with foam. So, a ga oni fomu. Another thing that we have is plastic. Plastic is called ike. 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 Agaonike is plastic chair. Agaonike. Plastic chair. Tabilionike. 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 Plastic table. Then we have an iron or metal. And it's called iri. 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 Tabilioniri. Iron table. Iron table, tabili oniri, aga oniri, iron chair. And then moving on to another description. Igi can be stick or tree or wood. Igi, igi, igi. But pako, which is wood, would often somehow refer to wood that has been processed. Processed in such a way that you, you would be able to use it to either make a table, make a chair, make a piece of furniture that you want to or use it in the building of a house. So just whatever you intend to do that involves woodwork, you know. So pako, pako, wood, pako. Agaonigi or agaoni pako would be wooden chair. Agaonigi or agaoni pako, wooden chair. Tabilionigi or tabilioni pako would be wooden table. For the dining wooden dining table, it would be tabili je, tabili jeon onigi, tabili onje onigi, tabili tiangbonje le onigi. Again, for the chair, agai jeon onigi or agai jeon onipako, they all work for the wooden dining chair. O aga tanjoko le jeon onigi, onipako. For the side table, we don't have a traditional name for the side table, so we, we would call it Tabili Kekeri Elegbiaga. Egbiaga, aga is chair. So, 
side tables are often beside the chair, the, the cushion chair, right? So, tabili kekeri elegbe aga. Small table. It's not akoti because it's not as small as the traditional akoti. This one is decorative in nature. So, it would be tabili kekeri elegbe aga. Small side table. Egbe is side. Elegbe, one that stays on the side of the aga is chair. So, elegbe aga. Another thing that we have is glass. Gilasi. Mirror is diggy, by the way. So, diggy, diggy, mirror. So, gilasi. Gilasi. The small side table, the small glass side table, if you were to write that down, it would be tabili kekere oni glassy elegbi aga. Tabili kekere, small table, oni glassy made with glass. Elegbi aga that stays on the side of the chair. So tabili kekere oni glassy elegbi aga. Tabili jeun kekere oni glassy small glass dining table. Tabili jeun dining table kekere that is small oni glassy and is made with glass. Tabili jeun kekere oni glassy and then we have apoti oni fomu. So I've mentioned. Akoti. Akotis are being made now for decorative purposes. They are being I mean people sit on them as well, but sometimes they just lie there in the sitting room are just decorative. But whether or not you're using them to serve any function, how to say cushion stool in Yoruba would be apoti onifomu, especially when the stool is short leg, like you can see in the image. Apoti onifomu, apoti alasho, cushion stool. Aga simi. <laughs> There's no traditional name for for these things, so I don't even know what that is called in English. I think it's just relaxing chair. <laughs> but aga similar. Aga similar. The chair for resting is is uh, aga simi. But if you want to say a big one, it would be aga similar. Nla is just a it's an adjective. A guy simi la the chair is simi is rest so a guy simi chair for resting that is big a guy simi la and then so a gal niri ro rocking chair a gal niri ro a gal niri ro rocking chair and then if you want to describe a sofa sofas tend to be big right so it would just be a gun la uniform or a gun la lasho big chair that is made with foam a gun la only foam a gun la lasher they work and then and then for the wardrobe or the cloth cupboard the wardrobe didn't exist like earlier i mean at first <laughs> showing it back to the day one that the yoruba people began to exist i don't think cupboards existed at that time People just put their clothes in boxes. It could be wooden boxes or wooden like compartments, which would be apoti. I mentioned that apoti can also mean that kind of box, but apoti asha can refer to where you, a box in which you make you place your clothes. So a, a, a container or a um, yeah, it would be a box that you place your clothes in apoti asha. That's the traditional name for the box or the wardrobe that you place your clothes in but you would often hear yoruba people call the cupboard 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 but it's from the, the english word cupboard but the traditional name for the wooden compartment that you place place your clothes in would be apoti asho apoti asho box for clothes and then the a surface that you place maybe your tv on or even the cupboard surface or just a surface that is not a table obviously just a platform you can call it a platform a surface it can also it would often people would often say when there's a kind of height involved in the sense that whatever is being referred to 
is not on the floor, it's on the surface. So o wa lori pepe, kokoro wa lori pepe. Can can if I say kokoro wa lori pepe, I might be saying the key is because kokoro is key. Wa lori is on top of the surface, the platform. So the person you're talking to, or the person I, I would be talking to, since it would be me, would know that I'm referring to a surface of some kind. If I say pepe tiang be tiang be is TV. So I'm going to make a separate video for electronics. But just you know, the surface that we place the machine on is where the key is. You would know that it's on that surface, it's on the surface. Lastly, as far as the traditional name for furniture is concerned, there is none. We don't have like a perfect English equivalent for furniture. It's a foreign word. However, we have our own way of describing it. You can call it Onwe Shoile, but it doesn't really it doesn't really do justice to just that plain meaning furniture. But Onwe Shoile, something that you decorate the house with that you make the home a home with on a shoyle furniture but again that would be that would infer that it's decorative much more than it is that it is actually serving a purpose however another another word another phrase or it could be or another description another noun or whatever would be on amaye deru something that makes one's life easier something that makes one's life easier so those would be two nouns that you could <laughs> that you could use to describe furniture but as far as that one word furniture equivalent there's none so that would be the end of my video for today if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me i would be more than happy to answer them and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.